My name is Manjadura and I'm 13. I am attending at number 4 Basic Education High School, Lang Township. And I'm a 7th standard student studying in Section A. My parents are Udang Yi and Dokin Dit. I have one younger brother who is a 2nd standard student. He will also join the Slang Mahazi after he finishes primary education. My parents are farmers. Our Lai Mahasi Meditation Center is a training people to be aware that practicing Vipassana meditation is the only way of achieving wisdom for life. At first, we target the monks, nuns, and elderly persons. Later, we decided to impart knowledge on Vipassana to the children as well. So we have accepted children from the border areas. The ultimate aim of Lai Mahasi Vipassana Meditation Center is to impart the basic knowledge of Theravada Buddhism to all diverse national races and to produce the educated youth who have accomplished both secular and non-secular educations so that they can continue the missionary works across the country. During the venerable tour of states and divisions to open Vivasana Meditation Center, he found the young Chen Tanu Karan, Pao, Wa, Badang, Mo, Yama, who have no opportunity to continue their education. The strict restrictions are imposed at our Lan Mahaji Center. The children here aren't allowed to tell lies, make mischief among others, and to talk about love between girls and boys. Since then, a genuine desire to promote the life of the children has deeply rooted in the heart of the chief monk. To carry out his dream, an organization was formed to support the education of those children in 1998. We are not allowed to use our money, except that we are asked to buy something. We don't even need to buy snacks as we can eat many snacks at our monastery. And we need not to worry to lose our money too. The students have to study the Buddhist scriptures and learn about Vipassana meditation from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. on every Saturday. In addition, we have to listen to the sermons delivered by the abbot monks at the congregation hall daily. All the students are to keep the eight steps. The girls are not allowed to put on tanika or makeup, and we fast afternoon until the next dawn. Lai Mahasi Vivasana Center has accepted the children from the Bora areas and take care of not only their basic needs but also their progress of their education in the basic state schools. They are allowed to attend the state schools.
Moreover, they are taught Buddha Abhidhamma, Kusala, Akusala, Suchita, Dojrita, Vivasana meditation. Later, they are sent to remote areas as missionaries. Besides, they have been allowed to wear Veja jobs for others of the center. In the earlier stages, only a small number of children were accepted. With the passage of time, the numbers gradually increased. In the year 2008, the number of students, both sex, peaked to 90. We are lucky in that we don't need to go to tuition like the student from the government school. The teacher themselves come to teach us. Students from grade 6 to grade 11 are given tuition here. The teachers volunteer to provide us with free education. Minglaba, I am Uchi Luing. I've been teaching fixes here as a volunteer teacher since 2005 to 2006 academic years. Most of my students have done the exam with pax marks in physics, but one girl passed the exam with three distinctions and scored 93 marks out of 100 in physics in 2008. I am Nyananda Ang and 22 years old. I graduated from Lindaya Technological University with BTech Civil. Currently, I am taking training on site engineering at Myanmar Engineer Association. My name is Sojo Lin. I am a university student of master research specializing in mathematics. I joined the school when I was in grade 7 student and continuing my education till I passed the matriculation exam. Thanks to the good guidance of the venerable monks, the students here are disciplined, smart, obedient and hardworking. I studied my primary education at Ye Township of Mo State. After I had passed grade 5, I have to go to the middle school in the town, but it was not convenient for me to go to school by bus. Therefore, my parents and the abbot of our village monastery planned to send me to Yangon. I joined the school after passing grade 5 from my local school. It is very difficult to study and prepare for the matriculation exam while staying in my hometown. That's why I joined the school with the help of the monk in our village. I studied there from grade 6 to 11 until the year 2008. At first, I just wanted to go home as I had never lived away from my family. When I tried asking for permission from my teachers to go home, he just told me that I should stay and study here instead. But I kept nagging him to send me home. Finally, he contacted the monk who took me to this school. When the monk arrived, he admonished me in continuing my study. I still remember the hit he made on my head for not wanting to stay at Lanier. 
It was in grade 5 when I had a memory event in the center. During the water festival of that year, I splashed water on the bank during sanitary chores. They warned me not to do that again with a little bit. But as a young girl, I burst into tears and demanded to send me home. I think my success in education largely contributed to the meditation. Meditation makes it easier to study and concentrate on our lessons. That's why I believe that examinings who meditate can do better in sense than those who don't. In the center, students are to learn both secular and non-secular educations. That's why we, students of the center, have better understanding of good and bad deeds and what is right and wrong compared to the other kids. Thanks, we find it easy to live our life meaningfully. Besides, we are to religious activities like keeping a preserve and meditating in this center. Such kind of religious training help us develop the maturities and self-control to confront the real life in our adulthood. We are now preparing to accompany the monk for receiving alms food. We go around for alms two times a day at 7.45 and 9 in the morning. It's been over 30 years since we opened this meditation center. Now, our center is having success. After attending the training at our center, the attendees became the Bao Buddhists. As a result, we can focus just right on our study. If we need to buy personal items such as slippers or toothpaste, we just inform the administration office and they will buy them for us. My ambition is to become a military officer. The reason I want to be a military officer is that I'm impressed with General Aung San. He struggled for Myanmar's independence. And I also want to make contribution to the development of our country. And I also want to attend the University of Computer Science. I don't feel sorry or depressed for living away from my family. Instead, I consider that we are very lucky to be here to learn both secular and non-secular education at the same time. In the scriptures, the hell is described as the realm of woeful life. Among the hells, a witchy hell is the worst with no happiness at all. Even for a blank of an eye, only punishment and torture for the sinners exit. This Limasi Meditation Center is teaching the methods of Mahasadipatthana Vipassana Meditation, liberation from all woeful states of hells. I wish you all can come and hear my sermon and practice Vipassana meditation. So, Laimasi Vipassana Meditation Center is a grand and noble place which offers secular and non-secular education.
I am a lucky one. I am a lucky one. I am a lucky one.